I did one but I had so many empties I thought I would film another one. I don't always film them every month, it just depends what I've got in the bag but there are four people now living in the house so probably will get through maybe more, I don't know, maybe the same, who knows, see how we get, see how we get on. Anyway I'll just pull them out um, as they come and I'll tell you a little bit about them. So these two are the same thing but different fragrances. It's the Fabulosa Laundry Cleanser. So this one is Endless Weekend and this one is Electrify. So I've got another Electrify in the, the kitchen. So I pick, you can pick these up from Aldi, Home Bargains, B&M, anywhere really that sells Fabulosa. So it it eliminates odours and it lets you, it, you can use it in a cold wash at 20 degrees and it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. Now, I started to buy this. I accidentally brought the Dettol laundry cleanser. I didn't have a clue what it was when I picked it up, to be honest with you. But now I pop it in things um, suitable for vegans as well. Now I pop them in things, um, most washes, to be honest with you. But if I was doing the boys' uniforms or bedding, um, I wash bedding on a 60, but the boys' uniforms, I tend to wash them on a 30. Um, tend to wash most things on a 30. So we pop this in and um, it just kind of makes you feel a bit, you know, it gives you a bit, a bit of peace of mind that you're washing, um, you know, that you're kind of hopefully killing off all the germs and bacteria in your washing. Um, you know, and their, their uniforms are only worn kind of a day and then in the wash, so. But they do smell nice, but you put them in at the end of the wash as you would where your conditioner would be. And that's the only thing. Um, but they do have a nice fragrance, so I don't think it matters. But you can use it as a soak as well. Um, you add six capsules into your fabric softener drawer um, or add three caps to 2.5 litres of water and leave to soak for 15 minutes. It says here, ideal for towels, children's clothes, underwear, bedding, blankets, dishcloths, pet bedding and more. So anything that you might need a bit more you know, oomph in your in your washing. Um, talking about a bit more oomph, um, Domestos kills 99.99% .99 of bacteria and viruses. So the multi-purpose bleach spray, I've been using that today in and around the kitchen. I don't like to use bleach spray too much. I generally tend to use things like Dettol and multi-surface sprays rather than bleach sprays, but this comes in handy for areas you know that might be getting a little bit of um, mould or mildew um, or more stubborn um, places to clean. Quite often I use that in the bathroom. I've lost the lid for this, I think, but it's Fabulosa Woodland Pine Bathroom Mousse Clean and Shine for taps and shower heads, tiles and toilets, baths and showers. So this is like the, I think it's a big mousse that I've had before, kills 99.9% .9 bacteria and viruses. It's fantastic, it smells gorgeous, it just doesn't last very long, it's by the time you kind of spray around the bath and, and what have you. You can leave it as well for a little while to do its work and then scrub it off. But I always kind of like, you know, trying new things and it does also work in an upside down position. Um, you don't have to be upside down, so it works like that, it comes out really, really well. So yeah. Highly recommend that, but it doesn't go very far. Um, and it's not the cheapest other products. We do actually have bathroom cleaner, um, specific bathroom cleaner from Fabulosa, which I used today, and it was really nice. Uh, bicarbonate of soda. Now, on the front, I put this in my cleaning cupboard, but I still put not for cooking, <laughs> cleaning. So cleans and freshens around your home. Um, so this is for anything that you would use in the house um, bicarbonate of soda for. It's a mild abrasive to clean your cooker tops, sinks and tiles, sprinkle directly onto the surface and wipe over with a damp sponge or cloth. For extra cleaning powder, mix with cooking salt in equal quantities, add a small amount of water. Um, it deodorises, so you can use it. Shaking back is basically this with a nice fragrance through it, but you can use it on its own, um, on anything like rugs or, you know, if you've just say your dog's had an accident on the carpet or whatever, you can put this on. Um, it says to deodorize the fridge, simply remove the top of the packet and place it at the back of the fridge. When odor starts to return, replace the packet. Um, empty the spent packet into plug holes or drains, followed by hot water to help keep them clean. 
or you can use it as an abrasive paste. Add bicarbonate of soda to waste bins, dust bins and pet litters to reduce odour. Um, for your sinks, you can also add bicarbonate of soda followed by equal amounts of white vinegar. Um, it just makes it fizz basically and then flush down with hot water after 10 minutes. So there's hundreds of uses for this but I think if you were like me, I didn't realise that you could actually buy specific cleaning products. I was trying to do all this with bicarbonate of soda that you buy for bacon and it's a lot more expensive way of doing it and actually I didn't use this whole packet to deodorise my fridge, I popped it in a little jar, um, you know the jars that you get the gooey puddings in, I popped it in one of those and I stuck it to the back of my fridge, however my son decided to bring in a camembert cheese and it stunk my fridge out so I had to wash it, I just had to kind of try and get rid of the smell so I kind of emptied everything out and cleaned it down and then replaced it by bicarbonate of soda and it does help you know with any smells but it's not a miracle worker so lots of uses for that I can highly recommend it the cheapest chips i think i got this from um pound shop or cherries it was one of those but yep highly recommend it for cleaning oh tipsy plum from um poundland scented um tea light candles absolutely lovely smell i use some in my wax melts as well it's just as tea light candles and this was an Avo Bath wax melt. I think it smells like a product from the from Lush. It's gorgeous scent. But some little wax melts from um, a lady that was making them locally. I always like to try and support local companies as well. Um, although at the moment, um, she who had a YouTube channel, but I've not seen her for a while. She is selling wax melts by Scentsy. So I have ordered some of those from her and I order, also ordered the diffuser, but it has a flower rather than the reeds. It's, oh, it's just stunning um, and they're gorgeous. They're more expensive, but the fragrance does last a long time. Um, Colour absorbers, what more can I say about these? I have them and every, every time I do an empties, I have them. Oh, I picked these up from the cherries, the Air Pure Incredibles Incense Wash Boosters Midnight Glow. I kind of tend to keep things like this for um, when I'm doing toweling and bedding and things like that. So it gives a nice, a nice little smell to it. I am obsessed by smells, by the way. Sometimes my son will say that his clothes, you know, kind of the scent was too strong. So he'll say, "I mean, can you dial it? Can you dial it back down a bit?" Um, you know, don't add so much because it's really strong. Um, it's just a sensitive wee soul, it really is. So this is Alma Colour um, Laundry Liquid. This helps keep your colours bright. This is from Aldi. Fab stuff. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't notice the difference between this and any of the other more expensive branded stuff that I've used. And these tend to be cruelty free as well as vegan most of the time. Who knew? That your washing powder or your softener could have animal fat in it. it makes me feel a bit crazy. I know I hate animals so I'm probably a hypocrite but I don't want it in my softener. <laughs> um, this was, I picked this up from Aldi, the pink stuff by Star Drops. It used to just be Star Drops, remember um, when you were cleaning Star Drops sugar paste. Um, so it's now the pink stuff by Star Drops. It's a medical laundry bio gel, removes tough stains, a first time seven day freshness. That was great, but the only thing was it was squeezy, which doesn't always work for me, especially as it's getting towards the end of the packet. Do I just not keep throwing this away? Or am I imagining it? The Yankee Candle. I must have kept it for a reason. I've got a new one, actually, that I got from a birthday that I need to put out because I love the smell. Um, oh, this is from Aldi, Tropical Sunset. <laughs> nice big candle, lasted for ages. I got the um, the Reed Diffuser one, the same scent, did not like it. I stuck it in my utility room because um, I put it in my wee bathroom and it was just so overpowering. But the candle was nice. And I picked up these from Primark. I think they were 99 pence or 90 pence. Uplift Pink Peony. Um, the Reed Diffuser, that had a lovely fragrance. Yep, we've still got another two on the go. That was lovely. And what have we got left here? Candles. Oh, 
Right, so it doesn't tell you anything. I think I picked these candles up from Cherries. Um, there was two in a pack. They're kind of berry flavor flavored. I didn't eat them. Berry scented. They were lovely. Um, lasted a couple of days as well. And this was from um, IKEA. And what smell was it? Was it an apple one? I can't remember. But it was one of the you know the cheap candles that they sell as you go in. Um, so what I'll do with this is with candles uh, we don't actually get a glass picked up here we need to take it away to be recycled so i just go down to tesco but this one as you can see is burnt all the way down which is brilliant but this one i couldn't actually light anymore and um, so what i will do is i'll run the boiling water um until it comes to the top and then i'll just pop it out and pop it in the bin so that can go to be recycled in the glass so that didn't actually take me as long as i thought um but i just thought i would do my empties while i was doing my beauty empties as well i hope you enjoyed that i know not everybody watches but the people that do watch tell me that they do enjoy it i do try and get different products to mix it up a wee bit for you as well so the one product that would be my star hero product i would hate to see it is this old fashioned bicarbonate of soda? It does everything. It's cheap and chips, it's got no nasties in it, apart from the bicarbonate of soda, it's probably not great, is it? Um whatever's in it. But um yeah. Users with sensitive skin should wear gloves, store in a cool, dry place. Um for cleaning purposes only, not to be taken internally. But it is a hundred percent sodium bicarbonate. Um I just think it's fantastic as well that it comes in a cardboard box. You just punch holes in it if you want to use it as an air freshener in your fridge. So many different uses for it. You could actually replace a huge amount of your cleaning products with this. And, you know, it is much better for the environment. So that is definitely my hero product. Um, if I was kind of pushed, I might say my laundry cleansers. Um, I would recommend those. And my old faithfuls are my colour captures. But anyway, guys, let me know. Have you tried any of these? What do you think? Did you know that this was even a thing? <laughs> uh, yeah, just buying it from the cake aisle like me and spending a fortune. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.